Hello everyone, this is Joanna from Flops Dog Training. I hope you're enjoying your holidays with your two and four-legged family friends. Um, before we head into 2023, I want to take a moment and talk about the dogs that we lost in 2022. These are dogs that were a part of the Flops Dog Walking Pack. For those of that you that, that don't know, I used to walk dogs um, before becoming a trainer full-time. And uh, these are three very special dogs. And I want to take a moment to share some funny stories with you about them and some of the lessons they taught me. And hopefully the lessons they taught me can help you with your dog. So here we are walking the dogs and the dog pack. And so we're gonna be talking today about three very special dogs. One is Posey, she's the Bernie's Mountain Dog there. This is Willow, she's just, uh, and Bear's on the right, who's my dog. So one of the cool things about Posey is, is that she's super bright, super fun, this is us training when she first started with us doing a walk and train. Good girl. And one of the great cool things about her is she taught me that no matter how big you get and how strong you are and how high you can jump, you still need a little bit of help getting into the car. This is how we would get into the car. I just help her a little up and lift her in. And also she taught me how gentle you can be as a big dog with the little, little people. And with playing as well, she's very gentle. These dogs taught me that without giving them that outlet to play and um, get that proper exercise that they need, that they're, they'll be unable to focus and learn and um, <laughs> they'll end up being you know destructive at home if they don't get this outlet. Um, one of the great things about Willow was the tiger ice cream dog here, is uh, she also taught me the power of um, instincts and uh, prey drive. One time she was in the bush, this is a great story, she came out with a freshly killed bunny rabbit uh, that had blood coming from it. So I asked her to drop it, which she did, and I asked the dogs to leave it. Here she is playing and being, being a funny girl here with uh, Penny. And um, she dropped it for me and the dogs left it alone and I was able to carry it with a poop bag to the garbage can and that also taught me how important it is to train your dogs to drop it and leave it <laughs> otherwise it can be a really dangerous situation really quickly if you know she were to swallow the rabbit or the other dogs uh, started to eat the rabbit also they were very cuddly in the back very sweet with each other uh, this is Posey and Bear um, very cute There's Posey and Jack and Willow. And the last dog we're gonna talk about is Bear. So I lost Bear last year. Um, we had him for 16 years. This is him, I adopted him from the SPCA in Vancouver when he was five months old. And he was very smart, had a lot of energy, but he was very afraid of people. And he needed a lot of time to warm up to them. So what he taught me was patience and time and to take things very slow and that when you're helping a dog overcome something or you're training something new that it's a marathon not a sprint and it's important to act on your dog's behalf when he needs space so that's what he taught me um, so slow is fast <laughs> when it comes to training because overall we were able to you take him places and take him to christmas and have him around candies and have him leave it and he was able to help other dogs like Jack here learn uh, training and help me with the dog pack here and of course keep me in shape because he had so much energy he was like a personal trainer <laughs> and he went everywhere with us we were able to take him on the ferry traveling um, take him you know to the beach um, do activities with him that we wouldn't ha be able to do with him had we not done the training with him so I'm so grateful we took the time because it was an investment in these memories um, that we have with him in his life and he was a company bear at home uh, a family member at home that we included him in everything we did and he was also an important member of the flops dog training team So I'd say the, the one thing about the common thread about these three dogs is that they taught me the importance of um, how important it is to train your dog um, because without these skills, they're not able to enjoy life and doing activities like the ones we did together. 
um, and how important it is to be patient and committed to their enrichment, doing activities like we did together, um, and how amazing and committed their dog owners were. Um, and without that, um, they wouldn't be able to enjoy the things that we enjoy together. Um, so I just hope that that helps you with your dog and, um, just know that if you're struggling with your dog, we're always here to help you. You know, I had to reach out before I became a professional dog trainer myself. I reached out for help with my own dog and that was really a game changer for me and for him. Um, and I'm so glad I did because it was an investment in that wonderful future we had together where he could help other puppies, help other people as a demo dog. Um, so that they could understand a little bit more about dogs and, um, and, and help them with their dogs. So um, I just want to encourage you to reach out for help if you need it. And please enjoy your holidays, give your dog some extra cookies, give them an extra hug for me. And I, I can't wait to see you guys in the new year and have a wonderful holiday.